Brock's Blue Ball Bonanza Brock, the stoner loser extraordinaire, was contemplating what to do with his life. Brah, why can't life be cool like a Sonic game? You know, like, I just want to run fast. His phone started ringing in his pocket. It must be his mom. When Brock looked at the caller ID, the number was hidden, but the name said Destiny. Brock answered it reluctantly, knowing this could be a prank. Yo, like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, hello? Lightning shot out of the phone, zapping Brock and turning his body into a series of ones and zeros. He was quickly sucked into the phone and brought through a tunnel to a magical place. Things felt real, smelt real, looked real. Whoa, holy shit. Where am I? <laughs> hey there, Brock. Glad you came. I need your help. A mysterious voice said aloud from afar. Brock turned to look but did not see who was talking to him. Turned back around and then there was a small blue hedgehog standing in front of him with a big grin. Whoa. 1993 Sonic the Hedgehog? You're r real? Brock asked with excitement and confusion. Well, I'm standing here, aren't I? Sonic said facetiously. Looks like I was too fast for you to see me run over to you. You might need some training, but we can work on that later. Right now, you gotta help me. Get rid of my blue balls. Uh... Oh, you're... you're... you're what? Quickly, Sonic parted part of his fur away and out came a dangling large blue hedgehog penis. It looked odd in nature, almost bulb-like and swollen. And right under it was a saggy sack of blue butter balls ripe for the gargling. Sonic stared at Brock with an evil smirk and showed his finger giving him a come here motion. Brock, without second thought, bent over and crawled to Sonic. The stench of Sonic's round bulge-like erection filled Brock's nostrils with scents of salt and vinegar. Sonic's balls swayed like heavy wrecking balls hanging in a wrinkled potato sack. Hope you like chili dogs, Brock, Sonic whispered. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Brock sighed. My dream has finally come true, Brock thought. My love for Sonic is finally being tested. Yeah. Brock sucked and sucked on that strange hedgehog cock. Only thing to do now was finish the job. But this wasn't enough for the fastest hedgehog alive. Sonic took his hand and placed it on Brock's head, making his arm move back and forth while Brock goggled away. The pace quickened. Brock's eyesight was blurring. There was no chance to breathe and his head was being shaken so furiously that he was beginning to lose consciousness. Sonic let out a moan, knowing he was close to climax. Sonic's fur was turning golden and sparks began to crackle in the air. Seven emeralds began to float around his head, shooting beams of power into Sonic sporadically. The acceleration progressed. Brock's mind was now a fine mush. From a distance, his head looked like a blur, moving in place. Finally, Brock passed out. Yet his mouth was still hanging on Sonic's penis as if second nature and his body was taking over. Slurping and gargling could be heard at a hastened pace. Come with me. Set me free. Sonic yelped as he let out a massive load of gooey viscous spunk into Brock's now numb mouth. The impact was so hard that it knocked Brock back a clear two feet. The pressure was so much, some even poured from Brock's nasal cavity, oozing down his face like sperm snot. Thanks, Brock. Your training is complete. If you ever need me, you know who to call. Brock lay there completely mentally broken and unconscious. He awoke in an alleyway with a headache like a split log. Whoa, what happened? W was that real? <laughs> no, no way. When getting up, he noticed a feeling in his pocket. His mouth was sore like a feeling of eating too many sunflower seeds times a hundred. Brock put his hand into his pocket and felt a circular object. 
It was a golden ring with a note attached. If someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's all good.